All right, guys, so Metallica has dropped a brand new track off their upcoming album, 72 Seasons, which is going to be out on April 14th this year. The name of the new track is called Screaming Suicide, and just kind of skimming through the lyrics a little bit before I'm starting this recording and reading the top comment that is a quote from James himself. It looks like this song is going to have more of a serious tone to it. It's dealing with the subject of suicide, which is a very uh, important topic in our society that that needs to be talked about it needs to be addressed lots and lots of people deal with suicidal thoughts every single day and it's just it's a major problem in our society but a quote from james that says screaming suicide addresses the taboo word of suicide the intention is to communicate about the darkness we feel inside it's ridiculous to think we should deny that we have these thoughts at one point or another i believe most people have thought about it to face it is to speak the unspoken if it's a human experience, we should be able to talk about it. You're not alone. 100% agree with all that. It's it's feelings that a lot of people have. And like he said, probably most people at one point in their life have had some of those thoughts. You know, sometimes it's those thoughts are fleeting. Maybe it's just a bad time in your life. But for a lot of people, uh, those thoughts just don't go away. And then unfortunately eventually can lead to suicide and we lose a lot of people to suicide and it needs to be addressed it needs to be talked about and it needs to be real i feel like as a society we try to sugarcoat things and like talk around the issue instead of like dealing with it head on if you are having those thoughts talk to somebody like don't ever think that you are completely by yourself don't keep all these thoughts in your head and just let them fester. Like, talk to somebody. There's always somebody that you can talk to, whether it be a family member, a friend, a significant, significant other, a therapist, somebody. There is always someone that you can talk to. I know just personally in my life, and I don't typically get really personal in, in my videos, but this is, again, a very important topic. I know that personally in my life, years ago, I dealt with suicidal thoughts myself, and Thankfully, I had people that I could talk to. I had people that I could turn to and help bring me out of that. And honestly, it's a constant struggle. I don't have suicidal thoughts anymore, but it's a constant struggle to not maybe relapse, I guess is the right word, like relapse into those destructive thoughts when maybe things are not going great. I don't know. I feel like once you have those thoughts that it's kind of easy to slip back into into maybe not necessarily suicidal thoughts but like de de depressing thoughts like super super anxious super depressed and just kind of down in the dumps and, and down in the dumps and just really low and just sad like a, just a general overall sadness that f maybe feels like it's not going to go away so i completely understand those feelings like i said if you have those feelings talk to somebody. Please get help. Please get help. We need you here. Society needs you here. Okay. I'm going to get off my soapbox. We're going to get into the music. Uh, this is Metallica with their new song, Screaming Suicide. Let's check it out. I see uh, Kirk found his wah pedal for this one. Oh, I like the harmony. Okay. It's groovy. I like it. I like that we're getting like an extended intro from them. Well, better listen well 
All right, so I like so far that this song is more uh, like dynamic than than Lux Eterna. I really like Le- Lux Eterna. It was very groovy, very thrashy. It kind of reminded me uh, of something off of maybe Kill 'Em All, but a little more modern and not as thrashy as that. Like more kind of thrashy, but like leaning more towards like the rock, the like rock and roll side of it or whatever. But I like that this one is changing up like every few seconds like all there's all kind of different riffs going on there's some guitar guitar harmonies and stuff going on in the in the uh in the intro different uh rhythms going on and it's just it's keeping it really interesting and it sounds really fun it sounds like it's a really fun song to play on the guitar i'm 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 liking the riffs a lot they're a little bit thrashy but they're more like groovy and kind of like rock it kind of reminds me of something off of maybe load or reload but it's a little more thrashier than load or reload because those really didn't have any thrash in them at all they just had like the groovy riffs and stuff in them so it's like maybe a mixture of like the like load and reload and maybe i don't know i'm trying to think of another album that maybe maybe kill them all again i don't know with like the groovy kind of thrashy riffs i don't know it's 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 cool i like it so far It's solo. I would, I would assume a solo. Very rock and roll. Very groovy. I like it. Let's talk about that solo. Oh, we're not done with the solo. Okay.
All right, guys, that was Metallica with their brand new track, Screaming Suicide. And as a lifetime long fan of Metallica, huge fan of Metallica, like I've said it before in plenty of my other videos, Metallica is probably the biggest influence on my guitar, my personal guitar playing. Uh, probably my favorite band, if I had to pick my favorite band of all time, it's probably going to be Metallica just based on the influence that they've had on my life and my like musicianship i didn't really like this song that much that's really hard for me to say but i wasn't feeling this like i i appreciate that it was about a very serious topic the lyrics are good they they address it seems like they address the issue that he's trying to address but i ain't feeling the song i ain't feeling the music um and i really hate to say that i mean overall i like the riffs but i don't know it just the song as a whole just didn't do it for me. I like that they changed it up. I like that it was dynamic. I like that it was kind of, it had <clears throat> separate riffs going on for separate sections of the song. Like Lux Eternal, like I said, was more straightforward. It had like one main riff. Uh, and then I wouldn't even call the verse riff like a riff. It was just some chords being played. Um, but it was enough to, to keep me interested and, and, uh, I guess maybe that just that main riff just caught caught my ear just right and I, I thought it was really groovy and really you know really thrashy and it just kind of reminded me of, reminded me of something off Kill 'Em All and I really enjoyed it but this one I don't know I know I said in the beginning of the video that it kind of reminded me of like a mix of Load or Reload and I think I even mentioned Kill 'Em All but I don't know, I feel like I ought to take that back a little bit because it just wasn't nearly as thrashy as Kill 'em All at all. It kind of reminds me of something off like Death Magnetic, which kind of had that same feel, like that almost thrashy, but more like rock and roll-ish kind of sound. Death Magnetic had its moments, but I wasn't a huge fan of that album either. Yeah, I hate I hate to say it, but I didn't really I didn't really like this one. And I know I know Metallica fans have very, very strong opinions. On Metallica's music so I'm probably gonna get a lot of dislikes for saying that I don't really like this song that's fine it's my opinion you're completely entitled to your opinion just like I am uh, entitled to mine the solo that was just another thing that it's not really doing it for me I feel like I feel like Kirk's solos just in general have gotten lazy and I hate to say that I feel really bad like he <laughs> Kirk himself is a huge inspiration to me, but I feel like his solos are just not, I don't know. I know a lot of people would say that his solos have never really been that great. I think he's written some really good solos, um, but just over over the years, they've I feel like they've gotten lazy. I mean, it's just straight, like this this solo sounded like straight noodling, like, like somebody sitting in their room and just noodling on the pentatonic scale. And I know, I realize that some of his other solos kind of have that same feel, but this one really, really did for me. Like it just, I don't know. It was trying to be like groovy and bluesy and it just, it missed the mark. It missed the mark. I, I don't know. I wasn't feeling it. Um, again, I appreciate the topic that they're trying to ad address here. And I respect that. Um, the lyrics are dark and that's, that's another thing. The lyrics are darker than the music is. I feel like this should be a heavier song, not a, more of like a groovy song, like rock and roll type song. It should be heavy, like heavy as shit because it's, it's dealing with a heavy topic. So the music I feel like should match it. So again, if you are a huge Metallica fan and you just love anything these guys put out, I do apologize. I'm a huge Metallica fan also. Like I already said, favorite band ever. I've been listening to these guys since I was a kid, like 25, 30 years ago. I, I love them. Absolutely love them. I just don't like this song. I'm still excited for the album. I mean, we've only got two songs out so far, so I'm still excited for the album. I liked Lux Eterna. I liked it a lot. I did the reaction video. I even learned it and did a full cover of it. You can go to, go to my channel and watch that. I really like that song. It's a lot of fun. This one, not so much. So I'm going to get out of here, guys. I appreciate you hanging out and checking out the new Metallica track with me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Bye.